Hello, Sarah Klein here. In preparation for the Art of Hand Balancing workshop that we have here in Durango, Colorado, this Saturday at the Sweaty Buddha, I'm going to show you two yoga drills. One, to open up the shoulder, and then the second to tap into the core. And this will hopefully tee you up to surf gravity in uh, Pincha Mayarasana. So any inversion or arm balance, there's this play or this pull between oppositions, and that helps to create stability and flexibility as we work with gravity. So in our inversions, there is this consolidation that is happening at the low belly. It really starts with the inner thigh and we consolidate at Uddiyana Bandha, strength and stability. Then the rib cage becomes about neutral as we start to tap into the expansion within the cavity of the chest. And in order to feel that, we've got to work with the shoulders. So we want the scapula to descend and widen through a nice external rotation of the shoulder, which will lock and load the shoulder joints to be prepared to bear weight. So this first exercise that you can add into your practice, all you'll need is a block and you can bring the short edge of the mat to the wall. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna rinse out the shoulders. And in this drill, you will feel a nice external rotation of the shoulders. So you're gonna take your block and your first point of interest is your pointer finger mound. That's gonna stabilize a nice internal rotation below the elbow. These points of opposition, internal rotation, external rotation create stability. So then we're gonna bring our elbows to where the floor and the wall meet and the elbows are shoulder distance apart. Then from here, you curl your toes forward and start to come in, to start to lift the knees off of the ground. Now you can keep the knees bent to keep the hamstrings out of it. Then I'm gonna push into my pointer finger mound, really feel the deal there. Then as you can see, the pattern that I am known for is the duck butt or the front ribs splay. So now I want to consolidate my low belly, dip navel in towards spine, front ribs into back ribs, and then maybe I have the opportunity to walk my feet in. The head is above the ground and the weight of the head is creating traction for the spine. So as you can see, there's a big rinse in the shoulder joint that is allowing the outer edge of the armpit to spin to the back of the mat, which is creating this external rotation. Now I want to imagine that I'm trying to dig a hole with my elbow. So I root down to rise up and you can see how that really integrates this root to rise, strength and stability. Then again, front body into back body, consolidate at the low belly, neutralize at the ribs, and then spread across the collarbones as if the skin of the chest were lifting. And this is a beautiful pose. It feels wonderful. And of course, I wanna to remember to breathe while I'm here. So that's it. It feels good. I hope you enjoy. So all you need is a block. If you don't have a block, grab a block. Now the next yoga drill is going to reinforce that consolidation at the low belly. That drill that we just did demanded this deep external opening, this external rotation in the shoulder, opening in the chest. And then the work is to balance the opposition by tapping into the strength and the stability of the core. So what you need for this one is a folded up blanket and a wood floor. Now, as you come into this, if you find that your hands collapse towards one another, that means that you're losing the stability in the shoulders. So an easy way to work with that would be to place the forearms on the ground with a block between the L of the hands. So here, forearms are on the ground, middle finger lines up with elbow. We wanna start by finding the strength and stability in the shoulder. So I'm gonna batch, imagine that my hands were, or excuse me, my elbows were stuck in cement. I'm gonna push them away from one another. With that, I'm gonna feel a nice external rotation of the shoulder. Then tethering the low belly in towards the spine, lifting the skin of the chest to lengthen through the front line of the spine, look out in front of you. And then slower than you want to, you're gonna keep your shoulders right over your elbows, and you're gonna push your legs back. Now you've gone too far if the low back sinks and contracts. So I wanna keep the navel tethered in towards the spine, tailbone extended, and then here's where we start to feel things. Slower than you want to, 
pull the knees in towards the elbows. The objective here is to keep the kidney region full. Steady the gaze, link the movement with the breath, and feel the consolidation of the low belly, neutralization in the ribs, and then expansion in the collarbones and across the chest. So it's up this, the skin of the chest we're lifting, sternum reaching forward, navel working to spine. And you can do as many as you'd like. So now that we've created this, neutralized this, consolidated this, you may be able to see the pattern in Pincha Mayarasana, forearm stand. So in forearm stand, my middle finger lines up with my elbow. Same thing that I did over here. I'm gonna bring the elbows slightly to a V and then push them away from one another so I can feel this rinse in my shoulder. That will cultivate strength and stability where the shoulder is prepared to bear weight. Now from here, my extended leg, so my right leg is super, super strong and stable. I join the big toes, work the inner thighs behind you, hook the tailbone to infinity, and then consolidate low belly, neutralize ribs, expand through collarbones. All right. I hope that you find these yoga drills helpful. Please do leave a comment below. Ask me a question. Tell me how they feel in your body. Let me know. And if you're in Durango, join me this Saturday at one o'clock at the Sweaty Buddha. Space is very limited, so do sign up. Um, all right. Thanks for watching. Take care.